Well, we do have some breaking news to tell you about. An emergency ordinance was just passed with limited access open to the peninsula. That partial access is only via exit 221 from I-26 eastbound and the Meeting Street exit on the Ravenel Bridge on US 17 South. So again, partial access to the Charleston Peninsula only via exit 221 from I-26 eastbound and the Meeting Street exit on the Ravenel Bridge. It happened a month ago we did stories about this. Yeah, News 2's Macy McLeod was in West Ashley today. She went back out there to see if neighbors are experiencing that same. But we do have an update for you on that Dorchester County curfew. Uh, Dorchester County emergency officials saying that the curfew does not apply to emergency crews, of course. Agencies such as SCDOT, they're saying they're going to have limited uh, capability to respond to people if you do get in a problem there on the roads, so, but if you are unable to stay in your home, you can call 911. They just activated the Somerville High School as an emergency shelter it, there all day. Yeah, exactly. Well, News 2's Evan West is in the Wagner Terrace neighborhood with more on some of the damage and how residents are overcoming this amount of water. Coverage continues here on News 2. Yeah, stay with us on air until 8 o'clock tonight. And don't forget for more on closures and other flooding information, you can head over to our website. That's counton2.com. Stay with us.